In the world of football derbies, Vasco versus Flamengo has few equals. It's a rivalry that stirs pride and deep-rooted traditions. Nós temos com o Flamengo o maior clube de maior torcida do mundo. O Flamengo é sempre campeão e o Vasco vice-campeão no confronto direto, né? Eu costumo dizer que o Vasco foi fundado com o objetivo de ganhar do Flamengo. Eu acho que é um clássico maravilhoso de se jogar e, e sempre dá um gosto saboroso quando você vence, né? Vasco Flamengo acho que faz parte da história do futebol, não só do Rio, mas do futebol mundial. Então instalou-se essa rivalidade, um não vive sem o outro, na verdade. Eu acho que o futebol é quase tudo na vida do carioca, né? And that passion is clearly born out on and off the field, where the desire to win is second to none. The beautiful football of Brazil is given center stage amidst a pulsating theater in the round. Where a goal is the trip for fans eager to celebrate at any opportunity. But it's also a life and death struggle, where brute force often intimidates the more skillful and sparks ugly reprisals. With referees constant targets of derby hysteria. But there is no remedy like a winning goal to satisfy fans and players alike. Whilst football is far and away the greatest influence in Brazil, it's religion that motivates and inspires it. The Jogo Bonito is seen as a license from God to compensate for a lifestyle that for the majority has little else to comfort it. Many churches have distinct club affiliations of their own. É a paróquia aberta a todos os padres, mas se ele não é flamenguista, ele tem um período de reflexão e se torna flamenguista. É um país católico, é um país urbanista, enfim, a gente se apega com tudo na hora da necessidade, isso é bom. O santo faz a parte dele, mas nós temos que fazer a nossa, faz por ti, que eu te ajudarei. A arte é uma coisa dada por Deus e a gente não pode aprender, aprender na escola, em escolinha. Eu acho que a arte é uma coisa divina. Se diz que a camisa do Flamengo é um manto sagrado, que essa camisa ganha jogo, quer dizer, é um tipo de coisa que é difícil se explicar. E o Papa disse assim, todos os caminhos levam a Deus, Deus que sendo certo. And for Flamengo fans on the eve of a big match, a visit to the famous Corcovado statue is essential to secure God's consideration, although Christ's shadow casts a discerning eye over both teams. Mas Jesus Cristo é sábio, é inteligente, conhece bem as coisas. Com certeza ele daria um especial carinho e amor para o nosso time. Whilst divine advantage is what both teams hope for, it is the flair of the individual that will ultimately win the day. Deus, ele é universal. Deus é de todos os credos, de todas as religiões, de todos os homens, todos os times. Por o que existe é o seguinte: nós que intercedemos mais, pedimos mais que os outros. Então ele está dizendo: pedir e recebereis. Bate a porta abre se ar. Então como nós pedimos, ele nos atende. Spiritual guidance may prove elusive. But the cathedral to host such games is undoubtedly the world-famous Maracanã. For Cariocas, this is Mecca. Agora, eu adorava jogar no Maracanã. Eu acho que a diferença acontece quando você tem mais de 100 mil pessoas, porque não é qualquer lugar local que abriga 100 mil pessoas, só o Maracanã. O Flamengo e Vasco pode ser o escala de Milão para o árbitro, Pode ser o Maracanã ou o Wembley, se ele for bem, se ele for mal, pode ser um cemitério, ser enterrado definitivamente. The atmosphere in the stadium is indeed overwhelming. This cauldron of excitement invariably provokes something out of the ordinary. Rio is home to both Flamengo and Vasco. It is also home to the Carioca whose lifestyle is renowned for its love of life and the beach. Whilst the rest of Brazil toils, the Carioca enjoys. 
It's a city of beauty and contrast, where social extremes rub shoulders and the church has a greater presence than the Vatican. But no matter what one's problems are, they are soon forgotten by the perennial carnival atmosphere. A game of beach football is also never too far away, as it attracts everyone irrespective of ability, gender or age. Whilst the rivalry divides, music unites Brazilians everywhere. Their natural rhythm and exuberance needs little persuasion to join together in song and dance. And when it's fused with football, club loyalty immediately comes to the fore, with fans eager to override the opposition in the best way they know. With fans in full cry, it's little wonder the game is regarded as the height of passion. Everyone wants to join in the party, any way they can. Even the old and handicapped are given a chance to be stars in their own right on centre stage. Brazil's population is a hybrid one. As a result, colour has always been a discriminating factor, especially when football was first introduced, with both Vasco and Flamengo at the forefront of change. Football was run for and by the elite, who lived in the more fashionable areas as opposed to those that lived in the favelas or shanty towns, and due to their colour, were denied the opportunity of playing. Whilst they lived almost on top of each other, the social divide was vast. But it's the talent from the favelas that ultimately created the exciting freestyle football the world has come to enjoy and where the bulk of Flamengo and Vasco players are found. Para você ter uma ideia de como era o racismo aqui no Brasil, o Fluminense é chamado de pó de arroz porque tinha dois jogadores do Fluminense que eram um pouco mais, eles botavam pó de arroz na cara para passar por branco. É que a história do Vasco é uma história muito bonita, uma história onde aceitou pela primeira vez o negro dentro do futebol. A elite não é o Flamengo. Não vamos dizer que não tem o rubro negro da elite, mas a maioria do rubro negro está dentro de uma favela, está dentro de uma comunidade carente. Flamengo's origins were initially part of the social elite, but as change became inevitable, they embraced players of all colors who were quickly accepted in their own right. Vasco were the first to promote the underprivileged. They pushed for equality and the belief that a hungry mouth breeds a stronger desire and a will to win. Football has always been seen as the passport out of poverty, where youngsters dream of becoming a star with Flamengo or Vasco. As with most big clubs, the fans are invariably seen as their 12th man. The massive support for Flamengo and Vasco has often been pivotal in determining whether they win or lose. Assim como, como o gol é a razão de ser do jogo, a torcida é a razão de ser do futebol, do esporte. Você imagina o um Maracanã vazio, sem ninguém torcendo, já tive a oportunidade de jogar algumas vezes assim, é horrível. O flamenguista, ele isola muito as coisas, quer dizer, ele, ele dá todo o amor a você, mas tem desconfiança de que você está aproveitando esse amor para se beneficiar, ele aí está fora. Já o vascaíno se entregou. Nós temos torcedores que nunca viram o Vasco, mas torcem pelo Vasco. Eles torcem pelo que o Vasco representa. Flamengo, orgulho do Brasil, Mengo! Whilst the rivalry is at fever pitch, there are always a few fanatics who stand out in the crowd. For Flamengo, one such cheerleader is the mask. Mengo! 
cloned from the comic strip, Flamengo's mask sees his role as critical in stirring the team to victory. E eu, como torcedor fantasiado, só venho animar mais a torcida, fazer com que ela cante mais alto, cante mais tempo. Consequentemente, isso traz a energia para dentro do campo que os jogadores mais gostam de ouvir a torcida cantando. When he appears, there is an air of expectancy, and the Flamengo fans respond accordingly. It sparks a similar response in the opposing ranks as Vasco's conductor, Mr. M, orchestrates the assault. His mission is to turn everything into black and white, no matter who it is or what the species. He's driven by an obsession for Vasco and an equal dislike for Flamengo. Before every game, and especially the derby, he looks to the Black Madonna for divine guidance. E o Mr. M apareceu num momento que o Vasco ganhava tudo. Ele sabe mexer com a galera. Então ele é muito importante para o Vasco da Gama, entendeu? Muitas das vezes quando eu chego nos estádios de futebol, a torcida se empolga a minha presença, se sente uma, como um amuleto. A rivalidade é, é saudável, o que não pode ter é violência. A rivalidade tem que existir, claro. Ele torce por dele, eu torço pro meu, e as gozações surgem sem violência. Né? The origins of Flamengo are born out of two images. The bird it took its name from and the urubu, a common local the fans have adopted as their own. The urubu seeks out its prey with the same tenacity as the team, whilst the fans see themselves as one big family. O Flamengo não tem explicação. Isso é uma paixão que cada um vai ter a sua definição. A minha que representa a vida, representa tudo. O que o Flamengo para mim é a camisa do Flamengo é a segunda pele. Set in the heart of Rio, Flamengo's headquarters is not just a football club. It's a lifestyle that embraces many sports. There are a reputed 35 million flamenguistas in Brazil alone. They account for over 20% of all domestic fans. Many trophies adorn the Flamengo Museum. In the early days, their main rivals were not Vasco, but Fluminense, who dominated the league. In 1963, the Fla Flu attracted a world record club attendance of 178,000. O Flamengo acumulou gerações fantásticas, né? Nós, os principais jogadores do país jogaram no Flamengo, ídolos, né? O passado do Flamengo foi de glória. Então, logicamente, quem está aqui agora tem que manter o nível para que o Flamengo continue grande, como sempre foi. Such is their popularity, a prominent judge once said, there should be a national holiday if Flamengo lose, so the fans could weep in private. There have been many Flamengo stars, but one of the greatest was Zizinho, who left an indelible mark during the 1940s and 50s. Even Pelé regarded him as his guide and mentor. The first superstar, though, was Leonidas da Silva, who broke both goal-scoring records and the racial barrier at Flamengo back in the 1930s. By 1981, Flamengo came truly of age, with arguably one of the best club sides ever in the world. Led by the brilliance of Zico in the World Club Championship, the team demolished European champions Liverpool by three goals to nil. Their overall team performance was so admired, it elevated Flamengo's status instantly worldwide, a reputation that has, however, proved much harder to maintain. É muito difícil você conseguir uma geração em que num só time você tinha Raul, Leandro, Moza, Júnior, Andrade, Adílio, Zico. É muito difícil, isso acontece a cada 100 anos. 
The derby has produced many memorable moments, none more so than the dramatic last-minute goals by Flamengo's Rondinelli and Mendes, each time giving them the championship over Vasco. There was a championship that Flamengo won with all the merit. He did a great campaign, but the Vasco attributes the presence in the camp of a ladrilleer, a player of Flamengo, who jumped from the general to the camp, entered the game, was paralyzed because of this, he was arrested. E saiu a torcida do Flamengo ovacionando, os dirigentes do Flamengo o protegendo, a polícia o retirando. E o Flamengo venceu o jogo. E os vascaínos atribuem só ao ladrilheiro. Quer dizer, ele foi até posteriormente condecorado pelo Flamengo, como sendo um grande herói, que o Vasco assumiu que perdeu o jogo por causa dele. One of Flamengo's most enduring icons is Junior. He played a record 857 games between 1974 and 93. His loyalty is testament to the commitment the club creates. Romario is a star who continues to defy critics and age. As a player who has played for Vasco and Flamengo, he wears his heart on his sleeve. A symbol of the new breed, a Chirson, is an exciting prospect who can play anywhere with deadly effect and has already been the target of major clubs in Europe. From the 70s to the é, tudo que o Flamengo ganhou, até a despedida dele em 1990, foi porque ele estava jogando no Flamengo. Ganhou todos os títulos, foi o maior artilheiro. E eu acho que é o maior exemplo como ser humano e como profissional para mim. O Zico, quando chegou aqui, era um menino raquítico. A camisa engolia o Zico. É uma famosa foto em que o Zico é absorvido pela camisa do Flamengo. Muitos achavam que ele não ia chegar. E uma época que o Flamengo teve, que foi a época vitoriosa, a época do Zico, que o Zico jogava, então isso fez a torcida do Flamengo crescer mais ainda. E Zico se tornou-se um senhor. O seu centro de futebol, o seu o embaixador. Se aqui ele é rei, no Japão ele é Deus. <risos> Fui uma pessoa importante na história do clube, foi uma pessoa importante no desenvolvimento do futebol no Japão. Agora nada de rei, nada de Deus. He may not be God, but he is regarded as a saint in both countries. Zico reflected all that was good about Flamengo. He was an inspiration who could score goals with ease and motivate when it mattered most. He won everything but the World Cup, and he second only to Pelé in the Brazilian scoring charts with 701 goals. Flamengo is Zico, and Zico is Flamengo. Today, more than 2,000 youngsters a year try out in the hope they may be seen as the new Zico. Crack, o Flamengo faz em casa. Isso é a cultura do Flamengo. O Flamengo foi campeão do mundo na ocasião aquela equipe tinha oito jogadores saíram oriundos da classe feita em casa. O que interessa ao Flamengo é a qualidade. Por isso juntamos a quantidade para que tiremos a qualidade. E dessa qualidade, de repente, se ficar 10 jogadores no Flamengo, está maravilhoso. Nos dois clubes, tanto no Vasco quanto no Flamengo, né, se perdem muito os grandes jogadores pelo número de jogadores que são produzidos. Quer dizer, o Flamengo e o Vasco produzem mais do que podem usar. Eu acho que nós tínhamos uma geração aqui para ser uma equipe campeã do mundo. Mas, infelizmente, os jogadores foram vendidos. Olha só, tem que haver finalização, pô! Whilst the club has tried hard to develop a squad to match the 1981 team, the need to produce instant success has created increasing pressure, and the players are often released before they've had a chance to fully realize their potential. Because it attracts so many young hopefuls from around Brazil, the club established a pre-qualifying camp, which gives those youngsters who don't immediately excel another opportunity to join the club. Under the critical eye of old Flamengo players, the selection process is heartbreaking for most, with families desperate for their sons to succeed, no matter how limited their talent. Many may have traveled thousands of kilometers for the charts, only to receive a rejection slip, where their only consolation is that Ronaldo was also rejected by Flamengo as a young unknown from interstate. Those who are successful will progress into another series of trials over the following month, where they will then have an outside chance of joining the club officially.
For those that have been lucky enough to develop through the ranks or have been bought as already established stars to try and kickstart Flamengo into a winning team again, know they have a huge responsibility on their shoulders. Yet there is always a legion of fans present who only see red and black in their veins. Explorer Vasco da Gama's bust still proudly symbolizes Vasco's colonial Portuguese roots, but more on behalf of the poor communities, be they black or white, male or female. Vascainos are a tight-knit community where old traditions remain and family is of the utmost importance. And of course, football is everywhere, with the shirt and cross worn wherever possible as a sign of club unity. With dreams nurtured from an early age, to be realized with gusto and pride, either young or old. Vasco compete in a myriad of sports and are the most successful club side in Brazil overall. Ser Vasco, acho que é ser feliz. É um clube muito vitorioso. É um clube de tradição. É um clube organizado com seus compromissos praticamente em dia, diferentemente de 95% dos clubes brasileiros. Evidente que o carro-chefe aqui é o futebol. Futebol é que é a mola a propulsora disso tudo. Dessa grande família que me viu, que me apoiou, que me incentivou e que eu dei também em troca, acho que com muitos gols e muitas conquistas. A força do Vasco reside na, nos seus torcedores. Vasco Stadium is a measure of this support. Built in 1927 with fans' contributions, it was regarded as the finest in Brazil until Maracanã. It also symbolized the fans' strength of character in the face of great pressure from rival teams, keen to have them expelled from the Carioca League due to their insistence to not only pay and play mixed-race players, but to win the league at its first attempt in 1923. One of Vasco's past heroes is enshrined outside Maracanã. Hideraldo Bellini was captain of both Vasco and Brazil's first World Cup winning team in 1958. His joy was shared by Vasco teammate Pava, a lethal striker who played in both the 1958 and 62 finals and whose goals helped win the two cups. Unfortunately for Vava, he was a contemporary of Pelé and was denied the full credit he was due. Eu fazia sonho de jogar no, no Vasco. Felizmente tive essa oportunidade e cheguei a, a jogar, né, muito tempo. Mas cheguei garoto e com muito carinho e por isso que até hoje eu tenho um grande respeito e carinho pelo Vasco. Vasco's early days were all about survival. The excuse used to ban them after winning their first league title was based on the players' inability to read and write. One of Vasco's biggest stars in later years was Roberto Dinamici, a contemporary of Zico's. Their rivalry over 20 years made the derbies even more intense. Known for his spectacular goals, Dinamici, now a politician, was the elder statesman of the derby with a record 67 games and 27 goals. Faz parte da minha formação. O Vasco é o segmento da minha família. After their troubled start, Vasco have become accustomed to winning trophies in and out of Brazil. In 1998, Vasco faced Real Madrid in the World Club Championship. An early own goal only spurred them on, leading to a beautifully executed equaliser by Juninho. Ecstatic Vasco fans believed this would open the floodgates. But a counter-attack by Madrid and a great individual effort by Raul proved decisive. Despite the loss, Vasco won many fans for their attacking flair. The much-publicized feud between Edmundo and Romario disturbed many fans. Com o Romário foi uma grande decepção que ele teve. Por briga de boba, briga de, de vaidade, mas que ele se julga tão machucado que não há como demovê-lo da ideia né, de permanecer afastado e não querer conversar com ele. Mas a, a briga existiu, realmente. Jogador de futebol que sabe jogar não precisa se falar fora do campo nem dentro do campo. O importante é que a briga que existe entre os dois 
é, não interfira dentro do campo, né? Although they'd been friends at Flamengo, they were both stars and highly competitive. Edmundo's erratic behavior brought headlines and a reputation for being difficult to handle. Despite adverse publicity, Edmundo still showed his brilliance on the field when it most counted. Whatever his shortcomings, Edmundo's fans believed he could do no wrong. However, during a match, he had a notoriously short fuse and the opposition knew exactly how to provoke him. His outbursts also made him a perfect target for the media to attack. By no means a saint himself, Romario continued to show star quality on the field. Romario's prolific goal scoring has prompted repeated calls for his return to the national team. O Romário está fazendo mais gols no Vasco do que no Flamengo. Alguns cronistas dizem isso. Porque a qualidade do passe do time do Vasco é melhor do que a qualidade do passe do time do Flamengo. Se o Romário não tivesse disputado a Copa de 94 pelo Brasil, o Brasil não teria sido campeão do mundo. Nunca a gente pensou que um dia o Romário pudesse voltar e voltar logo para o nosso rival. O Romário, indiscutivelmente, é um grande jogador. Mas... Eu não posso admitir que determinações da presidência não sejam cumpridas, né? Disciplina, para mim, é fundamental em qualquer atividade. Eu não abro mão dela. Amor da minha vida, minha paixão, devia, não devia ter saído do Flamengo. A young Romário would make his mark on the world stage at the 1988 Olympics. Despite his popularity with the Flamenguistas, he has always been a committed Vascaíno. Although judged by the club originally to be too small, like Zico, he was a natural predator in front of God, saving the best for the most important occasions. He would bask in the glory of a World Cup victory crowned as best player of the tournament. When Flamengo enticed him back to Brazil from Barcelona, Flamenguistas believed they'd won a moral victory over Vasco. Even though he was to return to Vasco, Flamenguistas see him as their adopted son. But it's his time with Vasco that has been the most rewarding. Even at 35, he still scored a record 70 goals in all club competitions in one season. É o jogador feito em casa merece muito valor porque ele vive no clube e ele realmente ama essa camisa que veste. Tem garotos de 4, 5 anos que esses já estão sendo preparados lá dentro do Vasco para o futsal, que no meio de mil crianças, dois, três, com certeza, a gente vai fazer. O que a gente tem que fazer agora? Correr atrás desse empate rápido? Agora, rebateu a bola, quem daqui, ó, sobe correndo, fechando. Beach football is a way of life for the Carioca, and it starts as soon as the infant can stand up. Both clubs have their own nurseries and nurture the talent as soon as they can. Parents are in full force to spur their kids along, but they need little encouragement anyway. And where a goal creates the same joy as their adult heroes. Eu já viajei pelo Brasil todo para ver, copiar alguma coisa. Mas não vi nada para que nós possamos confiar. Tudo que existe por aí o Vasco já faz e há muito tempo. Vasco's youth policy is one to be envied. These youngsters have a discipline and direction driven into them by coaches who are well aware of the Vasco ethic. Training is intense and innovative, where stamina and skill are worked in tandem. Ball control is a high priority, as is the need to have firm hands for potential goalkeepers. Sifting through the talent is always the hardest when you have so much to choose from. But Nelson Teixeira is well aware that coaxing is crucial to building confidence. Basta ver duas, três vezes o garoto tocar na bola para mim sentir que realmente aquele garoto tem futuro garantido no futebol. 
Futsal is a game Brazil has monopolized at all levels for many years. It's the hallmark of how good a player is in tight conditions. And for Vasco, this is essential in analyzing whether a player has the character to succeed or not. The discipline and commitment shown in the youngster's training is continued right through the club. Rhythm is as much a factor in a player's ability as his skills. One can't survive without the other. Know what to do with the ball and the rest will follow is the principle all Vasco teams work on, past and present, young and old. One man who epitomizes the Vasco spirit is its volatile vice president, Yuriko Miranda. Eu tenho uma identificação permanente com o Vasco, com todas as coisas do Vasco. Olha, eu acho que o, o Eurico Miranda foi um fenômeno. A torcida do Vasco o adotou, porque ele adotou o Vasco. Então ele se dedica 24 horas ao Vasco, conseguiu resultados que até então o Vasco não conseguia. Hoje o Vasco é uma potência em todos os esportes olímpicos, além do futebol. Então isso deu a ele muita força fora do clube. Miranda's high profile and dedication to Vasco's cause is well known. Há todo um sentimento aqui, quer dizer, que quando você conclama o torcedor vascaíno, ele comparece. Voted into federal office on a primarily Vasco ticket, Miranda is the archetypal godfather where club comes before anything else. One man who is as much a part of Vasco as Yuriko Miranda is its masseuse and spiritual advisor, Pai Santana. Santana has a powerful reputation. His mystical qualities have made him a feared icon to the opposition, but a magician in the eyes of the true Vascaíno. Religion in Brazil takes on many forms, and Santana has traded on his own brand of Umbanda for many years. He is a person respected not only by the players, by the dirigents, by the torcida, and by all the parts. Wherever he goes, he is a point of reference, he is a point of focus. O Santana era apenas o massagista do Vasco, mas como a macumba umbanda também faz parte da cultura brasileira, eu sugeri ao, pai Santana, ao Santana, então, que fizesse alguns trabalhos, já que ele também era um bandista, que fizesse alguns trabalhos em benefício do Vasco. Eu sinto um dos das pedras que faz que ele toca e a gente vai lá em cima. Santana's ritualistic approach is a cause of concern to many, but he swears by it, and so do many of the players. He's the all-seeing Vasco eye that looks after the club in a variety of ways. From the use of an amulet to an aura created for a player to ensure their performance will be either enhanced if they are Vasco or limited if they are not. Muita gente não creia, mas eles têm que que é tolerar, né? Eu sempre digo, não, não precisa crer em mim, mas me atolera que eu chego lá. He's been around longer than anyone can remember, wielding an unnerving influence that puts a hex on some that nobody can really explain. Players swear by it, coaches dismiss it, opposing fans fight about it, but in the end, the results determine how effective it really is. What's in his bag of tricks, nobody really knows, but to most, it works sufficiently to get them back in the game. And after all, that's what counts in the end, isn't it? Eu tinha até um treinador que dizia assim, olha, eu todo dia rezo para Deus e o Santana reza para o diabo. Deu acertar. The rivalry has intensified in recent years as the culture of support has become a way of life. Na década de, de 60, quando o Botafogo tinha a Garrincha, Didi, o grande clássico do Rio de Janeiro era Flamengo e Botafogo. Depois o Fluminense teve uma equipe de Rivelino, de grandes jogadores, e aí ficou o clássico Fla-Flu. E agora o Vasco tem uma equipe de grandes jogadores, o clássico é Vasco-Flamengo. Mas se você for ver bem, nas três épocas sempre o principal era o Flamengo. Os outros eram coadjuvantes, né? Uma cultura no, no Rio de Janeiro 
em que todos os títulos é sempre disputado entre Flamengo e Vasco. Eu, por exemplo, já vivi do lado de lá também, joguei no Flamengo durante cinco anos e sei realmente dessa rivalidade. Flamengo e Vasco é pura adrenalina, você não sabe nem o que, que vai acontecer, porque perder para o Vasco ou ganhar para o Vasco não é a mesma coisa que perder ou ganhar de, qualquer, de algum outro time. Some fans flaunt the rivalry, whilst others promote it. With football the catalyst, no matter what the gender. O Flamengo surgiu em 1895 e o Vasco em 1898, os dois como clubes de remo. E desde a época é do remo que os dois se enfrentam, que os dois são rivais. O futebol apenas acirrou essa rivalidade. The roots of the rivalry are indeed with rowing. Their first competitive tournament took place over a hundred years ago. Now the rivalry has expanded into a whole range of sports at Olympic standards. Kite flying and basketball have little in common, but both have favela roots and a streetwise rivalry. On water, the duels are traditional. Nobody minds who wins as long as they don't lose. Kite flying is a growing sport as lack of space becomes a crucial factor. Whether it's the slice of a kite, a basket being dunked, the firm stroke of a skull, or a goal being scored, it all amounts to the same thing. Jubilation to the winner and disappointment to the loser. The hype of the derby has also been magnified as an aggressive media sensationalize and intrude on all aspects of the game in Brazil. Nobody is safe from a media that thinks it has carte blanche to be where it wants, say what it wants, whenever it wants. Everyone in Brazil wants a front row seat, be it in the stadium or at home. Massive satellite dishes abound even in the most poverty stricken areas. A media, ela, ela vive da media, então ela precisa vender. Quando o Flamengo está bem, você vende para 52%, no caso aqui do Rio de Janeiro. Quando o Flamengo está mal, você perde 52% de mercado. O Flamengo tem a mídia favorável. O Vasco não tem a mídia favorável. Stories are what make news, and no player is exempt on or off the field, as the media circus demands what it wants, how it wants it, and how it will get it. The major player is global, a huge media conglomerate. It's the second biggest broadcaster in the whole of Latin America. Eu brigava muito contra a televisão, não contra a televisão em si, pelo que ela pagava pelo espetáculo. Em 86, para conseguirmos uma cota equivalente a 50 mil dólares era, era muito difícil. Hoje qualquer jogo dá 300, 400 mil dólares. Quer dizer, hoje a televisão nos ajuda. Global have now established communal website centers at Maracanã for the fans to create a better public awareness of the game. The voice of Carioca football is without doubt Washington Rodriguez, a veteran of over 40 years as a presenter. The enthusiastic and animated Rodriguez is an unapologetic flamenguista with a unique track record. Ninguém queria pegar o Flamengo porque se dizia na época que era um problema do Romário. Romário tinha brigado com Vanderlei, brigou com Sávio, teria brigado com Edinho. Because of his influence and love for the club, Washington's opinions regarding the club's problems were sought on a daily level, and he was more than happy to give them. At home, his obsession for everything that is Flamengo is well known. The rubro negra is everywhere. Whatever is wrong with the club affects him on a personal level as well. Ele passava que, mas e você resolveria como que o meio de campo e o ataque e a defesa e tal. Às 5 horas da manhã, ele disse assim, olha, então nós estamos, terminamos aqui, eu, eu já sei quem é o técnico do Flamengo. To Washington's shock, it was him. Overnight, he'd gone from media guru to the most vulnerable position in Brazilian football, with no coaching credentials other than his friendships. However, in his short six-month reign, he got the club to the prestigious Mercosur final. Football sells anything and everything in Brazil. It is an all-seeing language of its own that needs no explanation and is driven by an emotion second to none. Product lines identify in every way they can, 
The bigger the clubs, the greater, in theory, should be the potential return. O futebol é o maior fenômeno sociológico que o Brasil tem. Até então, o futebol brasileiro era visto simplesmente como paixão. Hoje, aliado a essa paixão, tem a profissionalização e o negócio do futebol. A escolha do Vasco, nós analisamos, procuramos analisar as principais franchises no Brasil, as principais marcas no Brasil, e o Vasco tinha características muito interessantes. Eu fiz um contrato, que é um contrato que nenhum outro clube do Brasil tem condição de fazer. Hoje, todo dia a gente lê no jornal que tem uma empresa quebrando. Então não é a simples entrada da empresa no clube que vai resolver o problema. É saber, o clube tem que saber escolher que empresa que ele vai, de que empresa que ele vai ser parceiro e de que maneira que essa empresa vai gerenciar os negócios do clube. No futebol há um fator completamente imponderável, que é a sorte. Nós gostaríamos, ou nós desejamos firmemente que o Flamengo, a partir de agora, seja um grande time vencedor, como foi em outros momentos do passado. Mas, na realidade, ninguém pode saber. Os investidores vão perceber também que se essa emoção aflorada, que se essa paixão aflorada ela não existisse, o negócio não estaria aí, o negócio não valeria o que vale. Sponsors investing in Brazilian clubs do not have a good track record. Vasco and Flamengo are no exceptions. What should be of mutual benefit based on the numbers of proven fans has resulted in acrimony and bruised egos. The tradition to identify on a grand scale should make such partnerships highly attractive. However, the fractured association between Bank of America and Vasco and the now bankrupt ISL marketing company with Flamengo have not held management fears that they will lose ultimate control of their clubs. Tanto o clube quanto investidores querem o quê? A valorização da marca Vasco. Tem muitos clubes já no Brasil que já perderam a identidade. Mas não é o caso desse aqui. As strong as Miranda's principles are, the dilemma is how long the present infrastructure can remain without clubs suffering further in defense of their heritage. Match day, where the past is forgotten and the future on hold. All that matters is now. Police are well aware of what to expect. Fans from both sides arm themselves and prepare to showcase their rivalry as the 12th man, long before the teams emerge. Flags are allocated to the respective groups and then the rehearsals begin. The atmosphere is already beginning to heat up as the battle lines are drawn. Confident Vascaínos take the long walk en masse to the stadium. The rivalry everywhere. For police, there's no margin for error. Whilst Vascaínos advance by foot, Flamenguistas arrive by train. It's all about intimidation and bravado. Inside, the vocal competition has already begun. Today is the final game of four from two competitions. The winner will take out the overall Carioca Championship. In the first round of the competition, Romario showed his class with a devastating hat-trick in a 5-1 thrashing of Flamengo. It was the biggest win by either side in 60 years. As the fans' adrenaline increases, it's Mr. M who guides them into the stadium. Flamengo have the biggest cells of fans and are careful to ensure they are separated by their flag colors. Romario leads his team out and it's the signal for Vasco fans to take center stage. Flamengo, meanwhile, unfurl the biggest club shirt in the world for this match. But this is Vasco's moment to savor with their fans. The second match was a much more closely fought contest, with Flamengo taking up the early running 
and Vasco playing catch up in a tough three all draw. As the final battle draws closer, the fans increase the tempo of excitement through a combination of the mask, the rival bands, and Mr. M with his own brand of magic. Now it's the turn of the Flamengo fans to greet their heroes. They are famous for their spectacles and ability to intimidate the opposition. In the first leg of the final, Flamengo took command. With a Chiasson running the show, they ran out winners by three goals to nil. Now it was down to the final game, and the Flamenguistas brought out another weapon of distraction. For the players, it meant little. They were oblivious to the sound. All that mattered to them was the right result. It takes less than 15 seconds to rewind these giant displays. Such are the competitive skills of the fans. Whilst nerves are at fever pitch, it's now up to the teams to play their part. Finals are always high-pressure affairs, and Vasco knew they had to take charge early on to have any chance of winning the series. There would be no prisoners today, as safety first was all that mattered. The tension off the field was also causing police concern. As the tackles became more blatant and brutal, it wasn't long before Santana's skills were called upon. This was a melting pot just waiting to explode, and it didn't take long with Vasco's Felipe, the prime agitator. A sending off is almost a tradition in these matches, as tempers flare suddenly and impulsively. A red card will hopefully subdue the conflict, but in this case, it only sparked another off field. The rising tension in the stands has also created an ugly outbreak of violence, not so much amongst rival fans, but amongst the notorious Flamengo Rubro Negra Hassa and Torcida Jovem cells, whose own intense rivalry has become an increasing problem for police, who try desperately to stop the inevitable confrontation. It's an all-out war. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like this? Thankfully, it's over as quickly as it started, but it's an unwanted feature that clubs seem powerless to eliminate. Mr. M sees it as an opportunity to spur his team on. It has the desired effect, as Viola scores with a great strike. Vascaínos are overjoyed. Joy, however, is short-lived, as a break by Reynaldo catches the Vasco defense flat, and he slots the ball home with ease. Flamengo are ecstatic. Vasco fans outraged, believing him to be offside. The goal stands, and it's the turning point of the game. Flamengo continue to press, and Reynaldo wins a free kick. A slack Vasco defense allows Flamengo a free header and a second goal that all but hands the trophy to Flamengo. Much to the despair of the Vasco camp, but to the jubilation of all Flamenguistas. A last minute attempt by Vasco brings out a brilliant point blank save from Viola's header. A disappointed Miranda knows it's all over. Any prospect of the violence flaring again has long been forgotten as the game ends and triggers a mass invasion of the field. Restraint has never been part of Brazil's football protocol. Pure emotion takes over as Flamenguistas celebrate and savor another Carioca Cup win over the old traditional enemy. Basketball players can only reflect 
and what might have been, and leave Flamengo to enjoy their moment of success. And what if the derby didn't exist? O futebol carioca sem Flamengo e Vasco teria dois clubes de massa a menos, teria uh, um, talvez fosse uma pessoa sem duas pernas. Eu, eu diria o seguinte, não existiria o um Vasco sem o um Flamengo e não existiria, existiria um Flamengo sem o um Vasco. O hino do Flamengo né, diz que o Flamengo até morrer, né? Eu sou Flamengo até depois da morte. Deus é vida, Vasco é amor. And the derby is forever.